Hey, welcome back. We're gonna continue the conversation around advanced use cases of Copilot for Microsoft 365. And today we're gonna to look at yet another use case of Copilot for Excel. Uh, in today's video, here I have a spreadsheet that is survey results from a survey that our company did with customers. And really we asked a single question on a scale of zero to 10, how likely are you to recommend us? And that question is really important because it helps you understand your net promoter score. But first you have to actually calculate the NPS or the net promoter score. And I'll explain more what an NPS is here in a moment. So to calculate it, it actually can be a little challenging, but that's where we want to use Copilot to make our life a lot easier. So I'm going to click on the Copilot button up here in the toolbar. And I'm going to insert a prompt here into Copilot. So we're just going to paste that in and my prompt is around the following. Insert the NPS or net promoter score of the likelihood a customer will recommend our company based on these survey results. So that's my prompt. So we're gonna go ahead and send that prompt to Copilot, give it a few moments for it to uh, think about it and process it. Now remember, in order for Copilot to work in Excel, the data has to be in a table format, which honestly, it's really easy to put almost any data in Excel into a table format, but it has to be in a table format. Okay, here we go. So here's the response from Copilot. It went ahead and calculated the net promoter score by determining the percentage of promoters minus the percentage of detractors. And we'll explain what that means here in a moment. And then here's the function that it used. And I can even click on show explanation and it actually walks me through that function, which is really cool. And then down here are the preview of the results of that NPS. So I'm just gonna click on insert cell. And then if I scroll down to the bottom of the spreadsheet here, line 226, there's my NPS score, 32. Fantastic. So now let's do, let's take this a step further and let's ask it to insert the net promoter score type for each customer. So I'm going to prompt it again, insert net promoter score type for each customer, send that prompt, give Copilot a few moments here to think about it, analyze my data, and then it should come back with a nice preview of the net promoter score type for each customer. Here we go. So here's how it, how it calculated it. Again, I can see an explanation of that formula. Click on insert column, and there's the NPS type for each customer. Very, very helpful. Okay, so now let's talk about what in the world is a net promoter score. Well, from hotjar.com, a net promoter score is a measure used to gauge customer loyalty, satisfaction, and enthusiasm with the company calculated by asking customers one question. On a scale of zero to 10, how likely are you to recommend this product or company to a friend or a colleague? Aggregate NPS scores help businesses improve upon service, customer support, delivery, et cetera, for increased customer loyalty. As a business metric, NPS helps companies of all sizes organize around a mission critical goal, increase their score by earning more enthusiastic customers that can easily be tracked and quantified over time. Now, how you calculate an NPS score uh, can be a little challenging. So you've got three different categories of, of customers like you see here in the spreadsheet. The first category is promoters. These are customers that ranked a score of nine and 10 and they represent your most enthusiastic and loyal customers. And these people are likely to act as a, as a brand ambassador and enhance your brand's online reputation, increase referrals, help fuel your growth. But then you have a detractor and that's a score of zero to six. And those are customers that are unlikely to recommend you probably and, won't, and probably will not stick around or repeat purchases and worse, could actively discourage potential customers away from your business. And passives are scores of seven and eight. And they're not actively recommending a brand, but are also likely to damage it with negative word of mouth. Although they are not included in the NPS calculation, passives are very close to being promoters when they give a score of eight. So it's always makes strategic sense to spend more time investigating what to do to win over the passives. So how you calculate it is the following. Your NPS is the percentage of promoters minus the percentage of detractors. So you can go through and try to calculate that for over 200 uh, customers here, or we can simply ask Copilot to do it for us. All right, if you found value in this video, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Leave me a comment, it all helps me out on the algorithm. If you wanna see more videos on Copilot, let me know in the comments. I love doing these videos. I love coming up with new use cases. 
And I've got a lot more coming. So be sure to stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video. Chat soon.